Welcome to jQuery video series and this is part 134 and today we are going to discuss about stop function. So basically stop function stops the currently running animation. Okay. So in order to understand stop much better, first we need to understand what goes behind the scene when we trigger the animation function. Okay, so first let's have a look at the markup. So what we have here is one H2 tag where I have some text. Okay, then I got two buttons, one to start, one to stop, one, two breaks, and then I have one div where I have some custom class. Right, so the custom class is height is 150, width is 150, and the background color is gold. And if I preview in the browser, so you can see, right, you know, this is H2. These are the two buttons going to perform the animation and this is my div tag. Alright, so this is the basic markup I have. Now let's go over the animation part. So one second. So on this click event where it says let's do some animation. So what are we doing here? So let's do animation means the ID is my button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, register a click event on this. When someone clicks on that button, I want these four activities to happen. So what's happening here is first the height becomes 300. So from 150 height goes to 300, then width goes to 300, then height comes back again to 100 and width comes back again to 100. So these are the four steps. These are the four activities happening. So now let's have a look how it's happening. So I'm going to start the animation. So first increase in height and then in the end decrease in width. So basically what happened was there were like four steps involved in this. Okay. Four steps. Now when you push the stop button, it has some sort of a behavior here. So if you look at the stop function, it has two parameters, stop all and go to the end. So when we look at the first parameter, which is stop all, and when we try to use it or on stop button, so what actually happens is, let's say you're on, at present, this animation is going on. That means increase in the height is happening at the very same time. If I stop the animation right there, so what's going to happen is the animation is going to stop there. Again, when I'm going to start, you know, the animation, hit start, so again it's going to resume rather than, you know, starting from the start. So let's see in action. Uh, let me refresh and watch this. Okay, so you understand the height is going to grow. So what I'm going to do is start and stop. So you can see what happened here was it has not reached 300 yet and I between in between I stopped. So when I click the let's do animation again. So it's going to grow back again from its current state. So okay, so you're getting it right. So basically we are playing pause and start again. So it resumes from its position when you put a condition as uh, stop as true. Okay, so now let me comment this part. Now the second one is quite interesting. So second one, what it does is, let's say if I am running this animation, if I'm in the middle of this animation and if I stop in between, so what happens is this function finishes off this animation right away and it ignores all the three steps all right so you're understanding it right it finishes the current animation so let's say even if i'm step two okay so it's gonna finish this step and it's gonna ignore these two so let's try that okay so let me refresh and what we have uh active stop here save all pretty good Let's refresh and now I'm going to start, okay? Start, stop. Okay, so the moment you saw, like, you know, the moment I hit, it actually finished the complete animation right away. All right. So now let's do the start again. So it's going to go from the start itself, okay? So it's going start, stop, and stop. So you see what happened in the end, it moved out to completely over the original position. So this is the advantage. And I think I went pretty fast. So what I'm going to do is, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, make these guys wait for more time. So you'll get a better picture. Control V, Control V, and Control V. So let's do this thing again. All right. So now this is going to take a while. So this is the first animation. 
this is going to take five seconds if I stop it takes the 300 height right away and what it does is it ignores all these steps so even if I start again so it's going to start from here itself yeah so after five seconds you will see there will be a slide on to the right side which is happening right now uh, actually what I did was I increased the duration right so when I increase the duration I can see like what's going on so I hope you got the idea like what actually is happening here everything is going step by step and you have to choose what kind of activities you want to stop sometimes it happens you want to play pause and play so this is the one which is recommended and when you want to clear the rest of the queue from the point where you stand so in that case this is the function you can use so I hope it gives you an idea what to do alright up next we are going to do what mm, let me let me check I'm sorry I had to pause the presentation so up next we are gonna go look at part 135 we're gonna look at method chaining so this is one of the great uh, feature of jQuery so we're gonna look at so I hope to see you there and if this video helps you in some way then guys please subscribe to my channel share this video with your friends give me a thumbs up thank you for watching thank you for listening good night and take care